today's shave, we're going to be using Noble Otter Firefighter. Coming right up. Hello and welcome back to the Lather Hog channel. I'm your host, John, and today we're using the latest offering from Noble Otter, and that is Firefighter. So we have both the new soap as well as the matching splash here. Really fantastic labels. Um, Noble Otter, I think, really, you know, with all the releases, um, the person they work with as far as uh, the illustration and whatnot, really some eye-catching eye -catching work here. Now, along with that new set, we'll be using for Razor today, the Carbon 316L, uh, this time with the stainless steel handle. This one, if you saw the last video with Big Soap Energy, uh, I used the carbon fiber handle. This one, I'm using the standard stainless steel handle and see how that compares. I have about four days worth of beard growth and I'm really curious how the carbon razor will feel going back to the stainless steel handle. You know, I was so happy with how nimble and adept that that razor felt with the lighter handle. I'm curious how it's gonna handle, like, was it a combination of the razor and the soap, or is it really that lighter weight that afforded me, you know, that particularly great shave? We're gonna do a bowl lather as well, and I've gone with the Lancaster Razor Works, this great red and black bowl here. You can see I have a good amount smushed right down the middle. The soap, uh, after being scooped out, is quite soft, so uh, almost a cream-like consistency. As I press down, you know, enough residue I got left behind. Uh, sometimes with the more firm soaps, uh, it's cut, it cleanly presses in without getting on your fingers. That's not the case here. Definitely some, you know, residue, some remaining soap uh, has to be rinsed off of your fingers. Now for the brush, we're going with Wild West Brushworks, one of my favorite handles in my collection. All right, let's get to that bowl lather now. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the scent while I'm applying the lather from the bowl. Off the tub and once lathered up, I would say this is about um, above average, maybe like a seven out of 10 uh, in terms of scent strength. Firefighter, I would dub it a cologne type scent. It's got quite a number of notes, which I'll list for you right now. This one has an aquatic element to it. It's got a pop of citrus at the top, but I feel like it has sandalwood and other, um, so maybe some other woody notes uh, in, the, in the base notes to give it some, uh, some more of a foundation as opposed to a super light scent that dissipates after a while. I think there, there's something that, you know, grounding uh, those, those lighter notes, the aquatic and the citrus. I mean, right off the bat, I really liked it. I do not believe that this is a dupe of anything. Uh, it's not a dupe of an existing cologne. But it is really quite pleasant. While it would definitely um, stand out in warm weather, I think, I think there's enough going on that this would be good for uh, year round use. Let me give you a closer look at the lather. You can see the whiskers poking through. I do believe this is in a updated base, a V3. And I'll be honest with you right now, um, in terms of, kind of research on this soap, I didn't do too much beforehand. Uh, it's been really busy uh, between the time of my last video and the recording of this one. And uh, I just want to get a shave in. Wanted to make sure I get a video to you guys. So here we are. I'll try to add a little bit more tidbit, a uh, little bits of information in the description below. So I do know that this is, was a uh, fundraising soap. You know, a portion uh, of the proceeds are going uh, for something that's you know, just to bring awareness to uh, all the hard work firefighters, first responders are, um, you know, are putting in, especially with all the fires uh, on the West Coast. So I'll be sure to include which charity or foundations um, you know, the proceeds are going to for this soap. Going 
right in. I'm liking the feel of this razor. I could make a case that I've grown as a shaver since the last time I used a carbon razor. Um, I could make the argument. I, I, I don't think that's the case. It might've been like a year ago or so when, when I last used it. And in that time, well, I've tried more razors since, since using it. Maybe just something's clicking uh, with my use of it now. I know that finding the pairing of the Astra SP in this razor went, you know, went a long way into increasing my enjoyment for it. I've tried other other blades in it. That my other go to is Pole Silver, Gillette Silver Blue, and while not bad. I, I definitely like the feel of the Astra SB in here much more. So yeah, life has been busy. And there's no shortage of software, and both from my unboxing, as well as uh, Firefighter, which came in, I believe that came in afterwards. I definitely didn't mean for like four days to pass. <laughs> I haven't shaved since my, um, since the release of my last video. So I do have to, uh, I gotta make it a little bit more regular because I think I, I wanna get to the software, I wanna experience the sense and share that with you guys. All right, first pass is done. Let's rinse this off. All right, lathering up for the second pass. So I did mention that um, you know, I didn't do too much research before going in. I do, I do apologize for that, but I have some time right now. Kids are preoccupied, wife is busy doing some her work. It seemed like a good time to get a shave in. And while we, you know there's not like tons of research to do on stuff, uh, the new soap, the new version of soap base would have been something I looked up a little bit more. Frankly, as I've been alluding to, I'm just not that interested in the whole soap base conversation unless something truly knocks my socks off. with the previous Noble Otter Soap Base. I do think that was an improvement over their first version. It just, you know, as far as quality of lather and ease of lather. But I'm a little hard pressed to say if there's any huge difference between, you know, this one, this one and the last. I mean, we can say that, safely say that it's not a step backwards by any means. One thing I did want to touch upon though, that's kind of specific to uh, to this artisan, Noble Otter, is I'm so enamored with some of the labels that they have. I think all, actually all the labels are top notch, but um, specifically I'm thinking of uh, probably the last video I did on Roar. That's R-A-W-R, -R, the one with the otter in the Godzilla costume. And that's one which I absolutely love the story of, absolutely love the label of. And I wanted to like that scent so bad, but it is one that I have uh, let go from my, uh, from my collection because it's a, you know, the way I would quickly describe it is like, it's a sweet green, you know, have green dandelion fougere type scent. Not quite a fougere because it's not strong lavender or anything like that. But it's just one that um, sweet and green is not really one I, I gravitate towards. And when you're hitting in your personal collection, like 
well, basically, I'm trying to cut down. I was trying to cut down from a uh, hundred different soaps and creams. That number has gone down in that purge I recently mentioned, but I still got more cuts to make. And I I remember kind of going through the same kind of um, <laughs> going back and forth in my head to pick up Noble Otter Orbit, which easily, you know, one of the I think one of the best labels I've come across, um, in you know in in artisan uh, from the artisan soap makers. But rose is in there uh, on top of the synthetic menthol, and we've got like an aquatic vibe to it. Uh, rose is very hit or miss for me, and in that case. It was a like. Again, with Roar, it's a like and not a love. And at this point, just to um, make some cuts, the soaps that I keep in my in my collection, they need to be love. I'm just wondering if any of you guys out there, you know, whether it's Noble Otter, whether it's someone else, there's a story behind uh, a certain release. There's a label behind a certain release. Um, and then, you know, time comes, it arrives, uh, and you sniff it, and it's only okay. Or maybe even like, maybe you dislike it. What do you do with it? Just wondering if anyone else has come across that similar, that similar struggle. So if so, let me know in the comments below, and uh, yeah, let me know which uh, which scent, which soap uh, that happened to you with. I will say, so far, you know, with the two passes, my face does feel a little bit more raw. Last time I used this razor was Milk Steak uh, from Decoration Grooming. That soap base I know uh, quite well. So I might have to chalk it up to my lack of familiarity with Noble Otter in general, because I don't have tons of Noble Otter soaps. And on top of that, if this is a update or tweak to the base, it might take me another shave or two to dial it in. But all that is to say, um, as far as you know, um, labels that you love, but scents you don't love as much. Firefighter, I, I'm, I'm a big fan. It's definitely a recommend in my book. I, I, you know, I, I enjoy fragrances. I enjoy colognes, and this one might remind me. It remind, reminds me a little bit of. Uh, I think this one's discontinued. Dior Aqua Fahrenheit. It's got that, um, this one doesn't have that iris vibe, which is in the Fahrenheit, but the way, um, maybe the way the aquatic note is playing reminds me of that frag. That's why I'm pretty bummed that's discontinued. I have a decant, I think I have a few uses left. And once it's gone, I think it's gone. I'm not really gonna Pay crazy prices. I, 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 I enjoy that one, but not enough to hunt it down and pay more than what the original retail price was for. But this one in an in a EDP format, uh, Eau de Parfum, would be fantastic. I think that would, that would sell quite well. I think my favorite offering um, as of this recording from Noble Otter is Te Noir et Vanille, and that is black tea and vanilla. It's got a distinct strawberry note in there too, uh, along with those you know, black tea and vanilla. Really enjoyable, and especially for the, for the cold weather. All right, so that was a cleanup pass. I chad my way through, through that. Let's rinse up and let's see how the scent is in the aftershave. All right, so the shave is all done. Let's go check out the aftershave splash. Give it a few shakes. Even after rinsing the lather off, the scent is still, still quite strong, I would say. Very nice. This might be my second favorite scent 
from Noble Lauder. I will say that uh, right at the edge, as far as the carbon handles go, uh, there's a slight preference for the carbon fiber handle. I know some folks really don't like the look. Uh, they don't like the look of it, kind of that, uh, the black bar in the middle, but... So I think I'm gonna need to try the carbon fiber handle, uh, possibly with a soap that isn't particularly known for its slickness, because I know with the milk steak soap base, um, I just love the way it handled. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today's shave. I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in. I do really appreciate your time and all your support. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.